So here's the HM126 by Woodland Mills. I'm just going to show you a few of the features of the sawmill. We'll do a bit of a walk around. The bunks here are raised off the track system so that if you're loading with forks, you can just bring your forks in, lower your log, your log will stay on top of the bunks and you can bring your forks out. The clamping system is a simple screw design. This piece is adjustable in length for larger logs and smaller pieces. The blade guards are all metal, powder coated finish. We've got a six and a half liter aluminum lubricant tank with a dual valve system so that you can set your flow rate and then just turn one of the valves on and off and it'll drip at the right flow rate. Behind the guards, the blade runs on two B-series drive belts. This one's running off a centrifugal clutch right on the engine. So as you throttle the engine, the blade engages through the clutch and you can cut your wood. These are cast iron band wheels, 19 inch diameter with rubber V-belts, both sides. So we walk around the back of the mill, we're going to see the tensioning. So this is a T-handle for blade tension. And you clockwise to tension, counterclockwise to loosen. You get used to how tight this has to be, as well as how tight the blade should be by feel. We've got a magnetic measuring scale here. We've got a 4-4 scale on the right hand side, which will let you consistently cut it boards at an inch and an eighth. On the left hand side we have a true ruler. And this is when you're looking for cants, maybe 8 by 8 or 10 by 10, or dimensional lumber done by the inch. The head is raised and lowered um, by this handle here. It's about a quarter inch per turn. It's a lead screw with an Acme thread and a bronze bushing that's all hidden and protected up inside of this assembly here. For an engine, we have the Kohler Command Pro 9.5 horsepower with a three-year commercial warranty that's good North American wide. The locking of the head is done with these cam lock assemblies. So when we lock this, it locks the mill head to the verticals to make sure the mill does not go up and down during the cut. If we look here, these are wheel sweepers and they're adjustable and they got lots of life for wear. They can adjust up and down and these keep the sawdust from building up in your wheels as they roll along the track. If we look at this handle assembly here, these T handles on the left and the right can be loosened off and this handle is adjustable up and down and that changes the user's position so if you're taller or shorter you can adjust it or if you have the mill set up on a really high spot or down low you can set the handle so it works best for your position and it moves up about 12 or 14 inches if it needs to The throttle is done right here. So the user position is right here. You throttle, hand out here, and then you can push through your cut. You let it off, the engine slows down, the blade disengages. You can do your adjustments. Make your next cut, throttle and go. You've got a sawdust discharge on this side with a screen in it so no one can fit any fingers in there. And the sawdust goes down. And then on this side of the mill, we're going to have our log support assemblies. And I'll just back off our clamps so I can show you how they work. So the sawmill comes with two log stop assemblies. These are the long ones. 
and they're tapered on the top. And they're tapered so that when you're, when you're first loading the big round logs, you can put them up high, and as you can't hook the logs to turn them, the log doesn't grab on it and it stays in position. As you get lower and lower in the cut, you lower these down. Once you're down to a square cant, it also comes with a set of short dogs that won't fall through. And these stops can be used. The blade will never hit this when it's in its lowest position. They're set up so the blade just crests over top of it with about a quarter inch clearance. And that way you can clamp your last log without having to worry about hitting your guides or your stops. This safety device here is designed to run into this log stop before your blade does. So you want to set this so that it's in interference with this piece as it rolls over and that'll stop you from hitting your log stops with your blade. So once you've got the safety guard set so that it's going to hit your log stops before the blade does, we can also look at our guide assemblies. And the guide assemblies consist of a rear roller bearing that's installed with a bolt from the bottom. And these are a wear item. They're inexpensive to purchase. And you don't want the blade running on them. Like you can see it's free spinning here, except for in the cut. And then we have a guide block top and bottom, and they're adjustable with an Allen key in the face to set the clearance off the blade. And we talk about that in our setup videos. The mill is shipped in a seven foot crate. So the tracks are shipped in two pieces six and a half feet, six and a half feet, and they're bolted together with a center bunk. And this center bunk is shown here with a seam, four bolts, both sides, and the track gets bolted together. So that's the HM126 by Woodland Mills. If you have any questions, please send us an email, or you can give us a call at the toll-free number, 1-855-476-6455, and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions over the phone. Thank you.